Um, today, I wanted to just talk to, about how to start a pressure wash. If I had to start all over and start from very from scratch, what would I do and how would I go about it when I had a budget of $3,000? And so I'm going to talk everything I would do with my $3,000 and how I would go about building my pressure washing business to what I would want it to become. So I'm going to talk about how to start it with $3,000. And this is going to be marketing, pressure washing equipment, the whole nine yards. And like I say, I didn't come up with the idea. Actually, um, a guy that just joined my membership did that so with that being said let's get started there and we will get going there so the very first thing that a lot of people try to do is, is i need to go buy i got three thousand dollars i'm gonna spend three thousand dollars in equipment wrong eh, no don't do that because if we spend three thousand dollars in equipment we won't have, actually, Justin is the one that told me to do this topic right here. Mr. Justin, what up, dude? So I'm going to give you what I would do if I had $3,000. And so um, let's, so the very first thing is, is we don't need to go buy equipment. That is probably, I mean, yes, do we need equipment? Yes, we need equipment. Don't get me wrong there. Do we need the best of the best and spend all $3,000 on equipment? No. Heck no. Um, we need money for marketing and stuff like that. So that way we can put invest back into our business. So with that being said, um, the first thing I would do is, is I would spend about $2,000 on equipment. Um, you can do it cheaper. If you can do it cheaper, that's even better. But I kind of got a list of how I'm going to show you how this is going to work here. So the very first thing I would do is, is I would go to, I would go first to here and I would try to go to Facebook marketplace or Craigslist and I would search a four GPM um, per minute pump. And I would try to find me a four gallon minute pump for something that is um, not too expensive. You know, if I could find something for five, six hundred dollars in the four gallon a minute pump, then that's probably what I would look for. Now, if I couldn't find nothing, then I got option B. So like, for instance, I could do one thing I could do is, is this is $125. It's an old Simpson pressure washer and the pump's bad. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you where we could buy this here for $125. It has the Honda motor on it. So it's got a good motor on it. And if we can put a four gallon a minute pump on it, which we can, um, then we would have a pump for less than $500. Five six hundred dollars. So, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash three thousand um, three zero zero zero, it will take you to this page. I actually made a page of start a pressure washer under three thousand dollars. So you can see right here, I can buy this pump right here. I could bolt it up to that Honda motor there, and I would have a four gallon a minute pressure washer for what? Let's see, three twenty five plus one hundred twenty five. It's on. Facebook, it's been there for how long? He he said he has like five of them. So, you know, I could probably get this for 75 bucks. Might even be able to get it, you know, $100, $75. So I can get it a little bit cheaper. So this will even help me out more. Now, if I don't want to do that, I could buy the Predator motor. You don't have to buy it here. I just put it on here so that way everything is... Um, so you can see it. You can actually buy this Predator motor from Harbor Freight for about, a, I think it's right around three, four hundred dollars And if you can get a discount, you can get it at $299. Um, but I'm just putting it on here so that you can actually see it. We can bolt this pump up to it. We need a downstream injector. We need a five gallon bucket. We get two of these hoses right here. Two of these hoses here. This will put me at 150 feet of pressure of garden hose. This will put me at 200 feet of um, that. Now, you'll say, but Jason, you ain't got hose reels and all that kind of stuff. Yep, you're right, because I got a $3,000 budget. And if I'm going to start a pressure washing and be successful, I got to make it work on $3,000 budget. Now, the one thing I don't have on here is a trailer. So if you have a pickup truck, a lot of this stuff will go right in the back of a pickup truck, and we can cause that to happen. 
So that being said, I got a J rod. I have this here and I'm ready to go. I did put a surface cleaner on here just so that way I could do concrete. If I didn't, if I knew that I was really tight budget, I could cut that surface cleaner out until I start making money. And I'm going to tell, that's the next thing I'm going to do. So the first, so if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash 3000, it will take you to that page that I just gave you there. So I'm kind of wound up about it because after I got um, searching for it, I'm like, this is pretty cool topic, you know? Um, so what would I do? So the very first thing I would do before I went and I started doing a lot of things is I would go to, let me move this here because this is driving me nuts. I would go to right here um, to pressurewashinghelp.com slash training. And before this weekend, you need to jump on it for the $49. Otherwise it is going up to $99 this after Sunday. Um, so go check it out. Um, and also the, um, the training packages of the other is going away. The, the Voxer program is going away after this Sunday. There is, I'm, planning on doing something else, but the, the Voxer program is going away after this Sunday. So with that being said, I would jump on here, go to pressurewashhelp.com and slash and get training. In all honesty, I would go ahead and get the upgrade to get the Voxer program. Um, I've had like three or four people on the Voxer program just sign up. And so, I mean, I've been on the Voxer program a bunch. Um, just because people are asking questions, they'd want to know what to do, how to do, how to clean this, how to do that, what to do, what, you know, all that kind of great stuff. So, um, so that is something that I would definitely do. So the next thing I would do is once I got my training done, I'd get, learn about training. Here's the thing, guys, this training right here, it doesn't just talk about pressure washing. It talks about everything, guys. It talks about, um, let me see if I can get in. I got more about the marketing side of things and pressure washing side of things that it is well worth the $49, the $99 Voxer program. It is, you will guarantee you, you will make a lot more money than the $49 that I'm asking for. Um, let me go on here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually go through some of the products here. So that way you can see what all is involved in this here. So I have, um, let me, my computer is not going to be um, very nice to me tonight, don't look like. Um, so my computer is being kind of slow because, you know, I want to try to do something cool here. Um, but let me get it up here. I don't think that'll open it up. Let's see. We need to go to right here. Preview. So in my in my program here. Oh, never mind. It's being stupid still. Um, but if you want to do in-person training, you can do in-person training too. It's going to be May 29th if it don't get canceled. So in my pressure washing membership, I go over everything. So you can see all the different things here. I've actually added all these other steps here and I haven't put the pictures in there yet. Um, and so, you know, we're talking about soft washing, um, process to clean a house. This right here is some great information. So I talk about um, um, actually a video that's getting ready to go up there. Um, I actually just filmed it today. I did, um, two house washes today. Um, and I, because I needed some, I needed to do some filming on how to, um, soft wash a house. And I also did a video on the one that I didn't get up here is where to park at when you get there. Um, both those videos went crap on me when I um, shot them before. So I, there will actually be another one. So talking to the customer when we first arrive. What do we need to say? How do we say it? I'm going to put a script in there for you. I don't have it in there yet, but it's coming. Um, I'm going to put a script in there. Hooking up the, the garden hose. How do we hook it up? Where we hook it up? What do we need to do? Check with it. Um, the walk around when we first get to the job. The And then there, there is a, in this um, walk around, there is a download sheet right down here to... Um, there should be a download sheet. There's supposed to be a download sheet. Um, well, I might have to go back in there and make sure. There is a download sheet in one of these here. But the walk around and what all we are looking for when we get to the walk around. Um, moving stuff away from the house. How we need to talk to the customer to make sure they may have everything moved away from the house. 
taping off outlets and doors and, and the, the, that kind of stuff. The deployment and all this here is step by step of what we need to do next. We don't want to deploy our pressure wash hose and we haven't walked around and we haven't gotten our before and after or our before pictures. Um, you know, so every this is step by step. Um, how to clean a house and hose management. Hose management is probably the most important thing you can do. If you don't know how to do hose management, you will take an hour long job and make it three long, three hours long because you keep tripping over your hose. You're walking back and forth to the truck and it's just way longer than you need to. Hose management is very, very important. It's I've done a 30 minute video on hose management and I'm actually going to probably do another one because it is that important. This is what makes um, this is what makes the good versus the best. Um, washing around the front area door. You might have seen that video yesterday. You know, I might put some of these out there if you tight wads don't want to buy it. They will come out, but it's going to take a long time because I got a lot of videos out there in there now. How to clean behind the shutters. What are some things that are going to happen when we're um, cleaning behind the gutters? Um, the next step, um, how to clean a garage door. You know, do I've screwed up three garage doors in my career. I've, I've, I've paid my play on that crap. I understand what screws them up. You know, so I go over what you need to do and what you don't need to do. Our first walk around after we clean the house, talking to the customer, five arounds, all this stuff is stuff in there that, um, that is in just the process to clean a house. So, um, let me see if I can go back here. I have, <laughs> here's a great one. <clears throat> um, how to use a water fed pole, how to clean windows. The, the stuff we need to do, to be able to do the water fed pole. How to test for TDS to uh, make sure that the water is properly and, and all that kind of stuff. Actually, how to clean a, with the water-fed pole. This is a great thing that we can upsell for $150, $200, $400 just for an upsell. And you would be surprised how many people would. How much is this training packet? Right now, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash training, it's $49 a month. You can cancel at any time. If you get it with the Voxer program, it's $99. This Sunday, it is going up, after this Sunday, it is going up to $99. If you buy it right now, your price will be locked in. It does not go up after that. Um, here's some more stuff that I put in here. This is a lot of stuff I just put in this one here. The chemicals, you know, the safety data sheets, the sodium hypochloride, how it cleans, what it cleans. Um, you know, mix ratios, this is a download you can download and it will tell you all the different mix ratios, you know, um, sodium hypochlorite, you know, or sodium hydroxide, what it cleans, gutter butter, acids. I go over all this in depth of what you need to know. Um, so this is just this side of it right here. Um, let me see if I can, I know I'm talking about the training and stuff, but again, guys, I'm being honest that this, there is well more, you're not going to find, you might, there's only one other training that you might even come close to this here. And you're going to pay way, way more than what I'm asking. Um, the only one that I know that is really in depth is probably going to be um, um, soft wash systems. But you're going to pay $20,000 for it. So, I mean, if you want to pay $20,000, you go for it. Um, have at it. Um, so, then the other thing I have in there is my mem my marketing. And I'm getting ready to film a bunch of more to put in there. I was hoping I could get it all done before Monday. But, obviously, I had to, too much other crap going on. Um, but, in, in our marketing stuff... Um, let me see here. And I'm I'm planning on adding a lot more here for this stuff. Um, I just ain't all the way there yet, but it's coming. It will be here. Um, so, um, but marketing. I'm going to teach you how to set up a website, how to set up your hosting, how to, um, all the stuff you need to do for Google My Business. Google My Business is so important, guys. If you're not doing Google My Business, you know, I haven't even got to that, but this is just the training. 
I'm going to get to that next. And this is what it's going to be out of my $3,000 here is going to be this stuff right here. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to talk about web websites for business. What all do we need to have on that website? What What is some things that we need to do for that website? Um, Google My Business, Google AdWords. I go over everything that I use for my system. I have my positive, my negative keywords. Some of my, um, what, how I write my stuff. Everything for Google AdWords to set it up from very start to the very end. All of that in there. Follow up for customers. You know, these are my email sequences I sent, used to send out. You know, um, followed up for closed customer, declined customer, pending customers. Just because somebody declines don't mean I'm just going to roll over and not do nothing. I'm going to keep sending them emails because you know what? Email sell. Um, you know, I'm going to sell, send them and send them and send them until they tell me to go pound salt, you know, or tell me to go fly a kite. Yard signs. I actually got some more videos coming up for yard signs. I haven't got them in there yet, but I got all this information in there. $49. So, Right now, if you have a um, pressure washing system, and even if you had to buy new like this, we're right around $1,600 is where I would be at. So I'm going to give me $400 for chemical and any minor bolts, nuts, that kind of thing that I might need. I don't have the buffer tank on there. I don't have hose reels, none of that. Because remember, I have a $3,000 budget. I can add all that stuff later. If I went and spent my $3,000 and had this great rig, that don't mean nothing. I wouldn't be able to do nothing. So with that being said, I'm around $2,000. So you're going to say, well, what are you going to do with the next $1,000, Jason? Well, I'm going to go do marketing. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to learn what I learned in my training and I'm going to put it on there. So the very first thing I would probably do is, is I would go buy 200 signs, 200 signs. Um, would be the first thing. That's going to be about 700 bucks. You can get them for about 350, um, 350, 325 to 350. You can go to pressure wash help that signs, get signs. And there you will be able to get signs. I would buy 200 of them. That gives me 700 of them. That leaves me um, $300, 300, three, you know, a little less than 300. So then what would I do? Well, the next thing I would do is, is I need to go buy me um, a website or, or, or build me a website. So I buy hosting, I buy my hosting and I would learn how to do a website pretty, I mean, and I'm going to show you how to set up a simple website. We don't need this big guy Jane to a website, $3,000 website. We just need a landing page. I'm going to show you what to put on it, how to put it on there, the whole nine yards. Once we get our website built, then I'm going to start working on other things like Google My Business. I'm going to I'm going to put a bunch of time in Google My Business. I'm going to go ahead and put all my signs out. Um, first, I'm going to probably do my Google My Business before I put my signs out. And this is why I'm going to do my Google My Business first. I want to get it um, verified, and that way, once I get my um, th my signs and ready to go, and I start getting jobs, I got a place to send these people. Hey. You can go to um, pressurewashhelp.com slash review and please leave me a review. I'm a new business just starting out and these reviews really, really do help me out a lot. Um, would you please go give me a review? And people will give you a review because that's what people do. So I would go and uh, get my reviews and I would build that. Now, the next thing I would do after I got my um, signs up, I'd get on Facebook, good old Facebook. And I'd go live. Hey, Jason Guyman here. Just letting you know we do some house washing. Um, I would also do some, uh, get some pressure washing um, videos. And I would get me some before and afters and just do a little video. And I would do it on um, two places. Actually, I'd probably post them on Instagram. Because if you post it on Instagram, it will automatically post it on Facebook. So that hits two stones with one. And so that is what I would do is, is I would post them on Instagram and it would go to Facebook. And while I'm working on that and doing that, I would get on next door. If you live in a nice neighborhood, I'd get on next door. Next door is an app that I can go in there and I can um, put, it, put it in there and I can do that. Get on next door. I'm going to post on next door. Now I'm going to go into Facebook and I'm going to join a bunch of neighborhood groups. I'm going to join, um, um, yeah, actually, I have seen some of those come in. 
Um, I'm going to join some bunch of Facebook groups. I'm going to join um, the neighborhood groups. I'm going to join the um, subdivision groups. I'm going to join, um, let's see, what are some more um, that I'm going to join? I'm going to join the yard sale groups. I really don't have much luck out of the yard sale groups, but the neighborhood groups, the mom groups, I'm going to join them all and I'm going to post them in there and I'm going to start posting, you know, I'm not going to post in all of them at once because then if they're all in there too, they get it. But I'm probably going to pick three, three groups a day that I'm going to sit there and I'm going to post in those groups. And when I'm posting in them groups, that's going to help me start driving my phone. I'm going to be on that phone. Now, talking about our phone, we need to answer our phone. Um, I know people are, man, I'm so busy. I can't answer my phone. It's hard for me to answer the phone. Well, if you don't want to answer your phone, don't do any of what I'm just saying because you're going to suck at business. Just the period, the way it is. Um, so you have to go and make sure you're busy and get um, your phone answered. And if you don't have time to answer your phone, then I tell you what another thing you can do. Then you can go pay somebody to answer your phone. Jill's office, April dots and bid slot, they'll answer your phone for you. Um, another thing I would probably do before I started really upgrading my rig is I would probably start using Responsibid. Um, Responsibid is a great way to follow up on tools because here's the thing. If we put out all these signs and we're putting out all this stuff and we start getting bids and we're not following up on those bids, it does us no good. No good at all, you know, and, and you say, well, Jason, how many signs would you try to put up? Well, that's a good question. I would probably try to put up 50 signs a week would be my goal. I would be putting up 50 signs a week to keep and get me busy and to um, get it crazy. Let's give our boy Jason a thumbs up here. Now, I know I've been excited and I've done my thing, but at that point, I'm about at my $3,000 and I guarantee you I'd be busy. And you know how I know I would be busy at those steps? Because I'm going to tell you, i seen a, somebody post something up here. Um, and I'm going to go find it because I know this boy's been busy. I gave him a call right here. Central Illinois. After checking in, working on my trailer, after making $10,000 or $1,050 a day, investing a couple grand and getting a hot water installed in the morning. Then quoting 15 mobile homes after that. I wouldn't even get the hot water, to be honest. Um, it don't really do you a whole lot of good. But this guy right here has started about six weeks ago. He started with my training. I actually, he gave me a big, long, sad story. And usually I just go on and just say whatever. But this guy took action. And that is what really will set you apart from anybody else. Taking action. If you do nothing Guess what'll happen? Can anybody tell me if you do nothing, what'll happen? If we just sit around and do nothing and, and hope and, and, and pray that something's going to happen, what's going to happen? Can anybody tell me what's going to happen? Nothing's going to happen. You're, you're going to be sitting on your couch and nothing is going to happen. Benjamin Baker, he's been in here a bunch. He said it well. You got to get out there and go do it. You have to. If you want to grow your business, you have to go out there and go get it. Now, another thing I would do, I'd get on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a great way to get some business. Um, and here's the thing, guys. I got 65 people in here. You have to take action and you have to do what I'm, these steps I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is not rocket science and it's not that hard. It's just a matter of you got to go and make it happen. Um, so, you know, if you don't do nothing, nothing going to happen. That's just the way it is. You know, if you go and take action and you start putting out 50 signs a week, and you know what? It's not easy to put out 50 signs. It's not. You get busy and you're like, man, I don't want to put out 50 signs this week. Or, you know, they just keep pulling up my signs. They just pull up my signs and it just, my competitor just pulls them up. I don't know if it is my competitor. It's probably the city that's pulling them up because the city don't want them, but you know, and, and you know when I'd put out my signs, I'd put my signs out on Friday so they last Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But Jason, and you know, you know what the biggest problem is? The butt. But, 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 but. Because what usually comes after but? An excuse, right? But this, but that. You know, so get out there and make it happen, guys. It really can happen. Um, 
it really can make a world of business, a world of difference in your business. Google My Business is huge SEO. Takes time. Maps can happen quick. Yep, absolutely. If you can get into maps, and here's the thing, um, Jeremy, you get the big Google My Business stuff, and you even do a little bit further than just the Google. A lot of your SEO will come from your Google My Business. You can that's how you can actually get it up there and get it up higher. Um, you know, that's something that it works, you know. Um, let's see. All right. So I know A B. Hey Jason, love your channel. I've been learning a lot from your program. Waiting on signs now, ready to go make it happen. Awesome. You know, and that's the thing, you know, on that $3,000, I didn't put a trailer on there, but you know what? If I had to, I'm going to go over here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to Facebook marketing and I'm going to type in, I'm going to, Mr. Robin Walsh would ask me a question. I don't know what that question is, but he always texts me when I'm on my lives. Um, let's see. I'm going to type in trailer. Now, I'm not going to buy the most expensive trailer. I'm going to buy something that will make it work. You know, I'm going to buy something that is affordable because, you know, I'm tight and I need to grow. I'm only got $3,000, you know, and I might have to drive a little bit. But, I mean, this piece of POS right here is $200, you know. If I go show them $100, I might be able to get it, you know. Yeah, it's a POS, but it'll hold my pressure washer and all my stuff, and I can make it work, you know. It ain't got to be the best and the nicest thing out there. It's just got to be able to get me to point A to point B, you know. And that's what I would do. And you know what? That's what I did do. Um, if you look at this right here, I want to show you this right here, what I did. You look at this trailer right here. <clears throat> this trailer looked like a piece of crap when I bought it. I paid $400. It was the trailer and two lawnmowers. One lawnmower wasn't worth two cents. The other lawnmower barely ran. It didn't run. I took the, the crappy lawnmower and made the good lawnmower. And so now I had $400 into trailer and two lawnmowers. Well, the one went in the junk pile, and the other one I sold, and I traded for a four-gallon a minute pressure washer. So that was the four-gallon a minute pressure washer on the other side here. So then I went and I um, I went on Craigslist. This big water tank right here was um, actually my dad's because they used to live in the country, and they didn't have water, and they had to haul water. So right here is the free water tank. So I had a free water tank. Um, this little motor right here, I, I trade it for the, the, the lawn mower. Um, I bought this used on Craigslist. It was a thousand dollars for the hot water unit. I had to put a, uh, a, um, shoot a, a new coil in, which cost me 300 or $400. And then I bought the hose and hose reels and I bought me a cheap, um, the cheap, um, surface cleaner. I had a little over about two, 23. $2,400 in my whole setup here. And that is what I used. Automate, automate, automate. You're absolutely right. If we can get stuff automating, that'll make things a lot easier um, when we're doing it. Um, what about EDDM for the higher end neighborhoods? You can, um, but you don't think that you're just going to send it once and it's going to be done because one time will not get you. This is something that you have to shoot for the long term and you have to go and mail it to them three times in a period of three months. Easiest way to learn is to get Jason's subscription. Absolutely. Um, I break it as, <laughs> as, uh, as, um, what's his name? Um, oh uh, shoot. Nicholas said from Illinois fireman or, uh, Illinois pile and washing. I make it Barney. Uh, what do you call it? Barney proof or something like that. I break it down Barney proof. You know, I break it down to the easiest and simplest way to understand how to do it. Been waiting on Google Maps since there. You might want to try again. If not, building a residential trailer soft wash system and a five and a half gallon pressure washer. How small can I get on my tanks and be happy? Uh, I would do 35 gallon. 
I'll, I'll do 35 gallon on my five and a half gallon pump. Um, no, I have everything but reels and tanks and hardware. When I quote 15 mobile homes, should I quote them individually or as a package? First time doing a bid for a corporation, and I've only ever quoted residential jobs. Um, if, if it's one big company, I would probably show that it's, you know, uh, $200 per each trailer. Or if, if they're all 15 mobile homes, right, you know, you can park in one spot and hit three or four, then, you know, you can get a little, you know, 125 150 a piece and go at it that route and then just show what it, what it is all the way high low pressure washing taking a break from online training to watch this any buffer the better 35 works for us yep um are you guys pulling from the top or bottom of your buffer tanks i pull from the well for my pressure washer, I pull from the bottom of the tank, and then for my soft wash stuff, I pull from the top. Um, hey, Jason, what fittings do you need in your gun for inlet and outlet? I use a 3 8 MPT for inlet and a quarter inch MPT for inlet, but people say they use a FPT because it's better. Thoughts? Um, I use a... I use the three eighths for the. Oh, I'm making that go crazy. I do use the three eighths for the um, inlet MPT male, and then I use the um, the the quarter inch for the outlet. You could even find a 55 gallon plastic drum and use it. Jason has a video on the connector. Yep, that's another way you can do it, and it's cheap. Jason, just wash that wall behind you. Dang, bro. Here, I, I can wash it real quick, guys. I can wash it to a, a beach. Uh, I like the beach better anyway. That's a lot better. I can even... This is boring home office. Who wants a home office? <laughs> uh... I see. I got some more backdrops down here too. Let's see. Um, what's this one? Some wash life stuff. That was a video Michael did a long time ago. Or some rust removal. I can't really see it though. That's the only problem. Um, I got all kind of film videos. I got my baby goat, my kid. What's the a castle? All right, I gotta get back to not playing. Um, Barney style. You break things down, Barney style. <laughs> hey, I try. I know it's it's not always. I mean, I try to break it down to the easiest of the easiest. Off topic, but you get good news on your labs. I don't know. I go in the morning at 10 o'clock. So I'm hoping it is good news. Hey, y'all. Long day pressure loss and lost lid to chem tank. You know how many... <laughs> you know how many... <laughs> you know how many tanks I've lost lids to and the guys that... As in the employees lose? A boatload. I used to get so mad they'd come back and the bleach would be all over the equipment and then they wouldn't even rinse it off when they got back. And then they wonder why stuff don't work and all that kind of said. Um, I actually did do two houses a day. Um, it was, um, one was aluminum siding. So I got a couple of videos on about aluminum siding that'll be going into the training. And then one was um, soft washing versus power washing with a power washer and a downstream injector. Um, I did one on how to clean a house with a soft wash system all by itself. I did a video on how to clean a house with a soft wash system with a pressure washer on the back side of it. So I have actually got some pretty good video coming up. Um, also, would you be worried about code enforcement stopping you from cleaning? I have a job in a neighborhood I'm not familiar with. It's mostly flat work and some vinyl fence on a residential. 
No, usually they won't mess with you, honestly. Jason, a link for your services I need. Barney proof. It is pressurewashout.com slash training. And it should be down in the description too. Um, <clears throat> pressure washing. In that town, would you recommend me calling the town and asking if I need a permit or license? Nope, I would not. Um, there's only one place in Northern Kentucky that I've actually been stopped to ask for my permit. Um, and we had to go get a permit. whoop de freaking do Um, I'm adding pressure washing to my cleaning company this year, and I appreciate your videos. It's a good, profitable business, guys. It really is. Um, you know, Illinois fireman has made, he's got almost $25,000 on the books and done. You know, he did seven and got 17 on the books. So there's money to be made. And he just started, you know, four, six weeks ago. What is the best setup for, G for GPM concrete tip sizes and surface cleaner type and diameter? You're probably looking at about a four or 16 or 18 ga or 16 or 18 inch surface cleaner um, on the tip size. I don't know what the actual tip size are. That's above my pay grade. I don't. That's the people of making that kind of stuff. That's not my my plateau of things. Um, got my paperwork. Got my LLC approved today. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It should have the trailer build finished within the next week. Seriously thinking about the in-person training since I'm across the river, but the money is tight. You'll learn a lot. It'll put you way ahead of the curve. You will have confidence in cleaning, and you will be a lot farther ahead than by doing it. Um, it will definitely give you a leg up on what you need when you go out to actually clean and do it on your own. Not related, been clean from all the drugs and alcohol for 1,700 days today. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Celebrate the wins. That's what I say, right? Celebrate the wins, and that's a win. Um, thanks for all the videos, lots of info. Did my second house wash today. It's a great feeling when the homeowner is satisfied. It is, it is. It is a good feeling, and you didn't screw nothing up, and everything went right. Now, it don't always go that way because that's what happens. Um, we called that Forrest Gump. Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Hello, Jason. What size power wash hose would be best for eight gallon a minute? Half inch or three eighths? Um, <clears throat> Denise, three eighths is better um, unless you like to be Hercules. Half inch hose weighs a lot. Um, and it's not really going to give you any benefit of the benefit of it. Um, let me, I don't know if I got that anywhere quick or not. Um, it's going to weigh a lot. Otherwise, um, let's see if I, I got a chart that shows the friction loss. You will get, you will get more, um, you will get more flow by having it. Um, but you, by the flow that you're going to get from one versus a half inch versus three eighths, isn't worth the wait. Um, it's not worth the wait. It's not worth the wait for the that you got to deal with. If I can find this slide here, I'll I'll pull it up here for you, and that way I can actually show you um, what it is, um, and that way you'll you'll actually see it. Um, if I can pull it up here, it's actually in my course, and that's why I'm trying to pull up here real quick. Um, I am about to sign for your courses. I've been pressure washing for 10 years. You are always dropping jewelry. I learn something new in almost every video that you do. Awesome. Awesome. I try to, guys. I I got a lot of information. I don't stop learning myself. I still try to learn as I go. Um, it's not something that I just, you know, oh, I do this and that's it. Nope. I still learn every time, you know. That's one, you know, I hate the Facebook groups because you see bad information, but I do learn some stuff out of the Facebook group sometimes of, you know, because I'm not out in it, um, out in it every day. Um, when I was out in it every day, I made a big difference. Um, you know, when I was out in it every day, I was, um, 
you know, I could try different things and see if different things work. And now that I'm not out in it every day, I don't get that. Um, so I'm going to go over here real quick. Um, pull this up here. So if you see here, um, this is flow gallons per minute. So we're at the eight gallon a minute. Um, we're actually at the eight gallon a minute right here. Um, if we are at half inch hose, we are at 80 PSI that we're going to lose for every hundred feet. And if we are at um, three eight hose, we're only going to lose 25. Or um, sorry, no, I'm wrong. Three eight hose, we're going to lose 300 PSI per hundred feet. And at half inch, we're only going to lose um, um, 80 PSI. So you can see why if we went with the um, half inch hose, you're going to get more flow, obviously, because we're not losing all our flow because we're losing it in pressure. Um, so this is, you know, but is it worth the extra weight that we're going to get? We're probably not going to, we might get a little bit more height, but we're not going to get that much more. That's going to make it worth us pulling around half inch hose. So I would definitely not pull in half inch hose. Um, so, um, even, even DJ has a 10 gallon a minute and he was going to do his first section of a hundred feet of half inch hose. Guess what DJ did? DJ took that half inch hose back because it weighs twice as much as that three eight toes does. Everybody show a little love for Gregory Townsend for being clean for 1,700 days. That's awesome. Hey, Jason, my last six estimates have been a no-go. What am I doing wrong? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty fair to price. House wash. Keep going. You're not going to win them all. Um, how's your sales process? What What's that look like? Um uh, just because we're high on price don't mean that's what we're losing jobs. If we don't know how to sell, that's going to be an issue. That that can cause us more issue than anything. Um, so, you know, what what's that look like? What's that process look like? <clears throat> you know, what what are we saying to that customer? What How are we, you know, are we trying to get them to book? You know, hey, I got an opening on Friday. You know, that kind of stuff like that. So, um, again, pressure washing. What is the worst that they could do to me if I don't have my LLC or license working in that town. Could I get a ticket or they most likely tell me I can't finish until I get a permit. That's what they'll tell you. They'll shut you down that way. 